Okay, two long straight parallel wires are placed 0.25 meter apart in a vacuum. Each wire carries a current of uh, 2.4 ampere in the same direction. Okay, calculate the force per unit length between the wires. Okay, so uh, this is very simple. Uh, refer to uh, current for two wire. Okay, if you look at here, this is not about magnetic field. This is not about magnetic field because it asks for force per unit length. Uh, force per unit length for two wires. Okay, so uh, all right, look back. So forces between two conductors, yeah, forces between two parallel conductors. So is this one, yeah. So uh, if uh, here we learn that if two current in the same direction, yeah, two current, uh, two current in the same direction, uh, they have attractive force. You see that they have attractive force. Okay, the type of force is attractive. Uh, but if uh, you have two current in opposite direction, one go up, one go down. If two current in opposite direction, they are repulsive force. Okay. Uh, so both if the currents are in the same direction, they attract each other. If the currents are in the opposite direction, opposite direction, they repel each other. Okay. Uh, so the the formula is F over L, uh, force per unit length. Uh, mu naught i1 i2 over 2 pi d d is a separation between the two wire okay uh, d d is a separation between the two wire okay so force per unit length so the ask question asks for force per unit length huh? okay all uh, right hold on a second just one fine okay okay so let's find out the force per unit length of those wire so mu naught i1 i2 over 2 pi d okay uh all right so mu naught value actually you can get from the list of constant yeah list of constant you have the mu naught uh but this question already provide you the mu naught also so just might as well use this one okay all right so substitute the value uh, mu naught Okay, I1, I1, uh, each wire has current 2.4 ampere. So that means both have the same current, 2.4 ampere, yeah? So 2.4 I1 and I2 is also 2.4. And then distance between the two wire is uh, this one, lah. okay? I'm going to write it down. This one is D, separation. Uh, and this one is the I1 and I2, yeah? Okay, so the D is uh, 0 0.25 meter. Okay? Alright, so let's calculate. 4 pi times uh, 10 to the power of negative 7. Okay, multiply 2.4, 0.4. Divide by uh, 2 pi and also divide by 0 0.25. Okay, the answer is 4.608 exponent, exponent what? Exponent negative 6. Uh, exponent negative 6. Uh, this is Newton per meter. Okay. Uh, that's correct. Okay, so that's the answer. It's correct. Yeah, Newton per meter. Remember, it is Newton per meter. Uh, force per unit length is Newton per meter. Don't forget uh, the unit. It's not Newton. Uh, it's Newton per meter. Uh, okay, so that's the answer. Okay, now look at question uh, B. Look at question B. Um, now, if Current in one of the amperes is reduced to 0 0.64. Last time is 2.4. Now reduced to 0 0.64. Calculate the current in the second wire to maintain the same uh, force per unit length between the wires. So I want to maintain same force per unit length. Okay. So that means uh, I want to maintain this value 4.608. Okay. Uh, but one of the current has reduced to 0 0.64. Maybe I can say this is a. Uh, I put this as I1. Okay, I1. 
So what is the current in the second wire? So that means I need the I2. Okay, I need the I2. So okay, so I maintain the this value of force per unit length. Okay, so uh, back to the formula. Uh, mu naught I1 I2 over 2 pi d. So the force per unit length is still the values. 4.608 exponent negative 6 okay mu naught is a uh, 4 pi exponent negative 7 okay i1 has reduced to 0 0.64 0 0.64 so what is i2 now yeah what is i2 so calculate use the same formula again calculate i2 uh, and then 2 pi d D is still the same, 0 0.25 meter apart between the two wires. Okay, find the I2. So let's calculate I2. Okay. Uh, then multiply by 2 pi 0 .0. all right so the answer is 9 9 ampere uh, the answer is 9 ampere yeah so the answer is correct again yeah okay so uh, that's all for this question very simple yeah uh, and one more thing this you see these two current in the same direction isn't it these two current in the same direction, so they should have attractive force. Uh, they should have uh, attractive force. These two wires attract to each other. Uh, if the current in the opposite direction, then they have repulsive force. Right now, current in the same direction, they attractive force. Okay, so that's all.